The Bible records that when Jesus Christ was born that first Christmas, most of the world was unaware. Mary knew how special and precious would be this little boy, for she received the news from the angel Gabriel. Joseph, too, was told in a dream that this little child would be the one, the one who would save the people from their sins. But the rest of the world was oblivious, with two very interesting exceptions. One group was divinely invited to attend this birth, the shepherds. They were watching over their lambs, and the angels brought them to the Lamb of God. And then the Magi, Gentiles from the East. They were the only ones looking in the right place, with a little help from above, guided by a star. Still today, much of the world is looking in all the wrong places this Christmas. They're distracted by all the fancy gifts and the colorful lights and the parties and the holiday specials on TV. But what about you? Listen carefully with your heart for the Spirit of God. Only with His help can you find the manger and the Messiah.
the very first Christmas gifts, other than, of course, the gift of God's own Son, was the gifts brought by the Magi. Myrrh, frankincense, and gold. Expensive gifts indeed. Today, Christmas gifts traverse the complete spectrum of cost, from the simple to the sumptuous, and everything in between. We give gifts to our spouses and children, to our friends and office workers. But what is the gift we bring to the child in the manger? The Magi were wise to bring this monarch of monarchs expensive gifts. Your gift for Jesus is only appropriate if it is the most expensive thing you possess. For what the king really wants is you. Thank you. 